Well, hello everybody and welcome back to Lisa's Coloring Corner. I have some more diamond paintings to unbag for you. This is part of that big haul that uh, New Homie sent to me. They were so kind to let me pick out a number of diamond paintings. Um, I do have part one recorded. I will link that video down below in the description. And that was uh, up on my channel a couple of weeks ago. So let's do part two. We're going to grab five more from this bag. And then I will only have one more part to do to this little mini series. So... Yeah, let's let's grab out some more. Now I threw the ones back in here. I shouldn't have that I already opened, and that was those. Okay, I rubber banded them together, so I'm not as bad as I thought. So let's grab out five more. One, two, three, four, five, and then we only have four left. So, and what was this one? I'm not sure. I'll have to look at that. Because, yeah, I should only have four more than from a new homie. Okay. So, let's see what we have. It's been a while, so, uh, yeah, I can't even remember which ones I said to send me. <laughs> I will link New Homie down below in the description. And something really nice that New Homie does for those of us who do um, unbaggings for them on our YouTube channels is they um, give us a direct link on their website um, which states our um, uh, YouTube channel name. And under that link, it will list all the diamond paintings that we show in our unbaggings. So we no longer have to go and find the direct links to all the diamond paintings. They do the work for us. And then on top of that, they have our YouTube channel name on their website. So very, very nice of them to do that. It makes things much easier. So not only will I leave a um, link to their um, home web page, their website. I will also leave a link, a direct link to my, what do you want to say, <laughs> to where they um, have all of my unbagging uh, diamond paintings, the, the diamond paintings from my unbagging videos, um, in case you want to check out any of these that I'm showing you. Now, they did send me an email, did indicate that a couple of the diamond paintings that I'm unbagging are no longer available. So I'm not sure which one of these are no longer available. I think there's two. There was one in my first unbagging. If you looked in the description at the links, the very last one, I looked and looked and looked for that link, that picture, could not find it. Yeah, so I ended up putting, uh, could not find link or something in the description. Yeah, that was one that's no longer available. So no wonder I couldn't find it. Um, so, uh, Again, I'm not sure which one of these are no longer available, but if you don't see it in the link that I provide down below, that means it's one that's no longer available. So with each of these diamond paintings, you get your standard toolkit, the wax green tray single placer. Look at this cute little thing. Oh, I love it. I am jumping on the 30 by 30 bandwagon that Miss Anne with uh, Crafting with Anne is starting. Um, if you're not familiar with what she's doing, she um, has a whole bunch of 30 by 30 diamond paintings that she is putting in a scrapbook. And I thought, oh, what a neat idea. They're fun little diamond paintings, won't take long to do, and yet it's a really neat way to display them, right? So a number of them that I ordered are 30 by 30s. Normally I would never do ones this small in the past. Now I think they're going to be a lot of fun. So let's zoom in a little bit. Look at this cute little thing. I apologize for the glare. It is evening here. 
so I have to have all my lights on. But yeah, I just saw this one was so cute. We do have a nice big key code over here in the upper right. There are 19 colors and there are only letters of the alphabet for their symbols. So that's really nice. Let's take a look at the symbols themselves. These are all poured glue. So, I mean, the, the canvas looks, you know, fantastic. Of course, no rivers, no nothing. You typically don't have a problem with your poured glue canvases, but it's always a good idea to check them out anyhow. So, our symbols are very nice and clear. will not have a problem at all reading those. Aren't those pretty colors? Oh, love it, love it. Okay, let's zoom back out. Let's go a little more. So yeah, I just thought this thing was so cute and would go beautifully in a scrapbook once it gets done. Let's look at the drills. And we'll go through these kind of fast because I do have five of them to open. Now again, as I stated in part one, these are the nice bags because they have this metallic line. So you can really easily see the numbers on it. So yeah, let's look at the pretty colors. Oh, look at these two. Pretty coral. There's a lot of this color, this pink. Some blacks. Now I don't think, yep, there are DMC coats. Okay. Dark gray, pretty lavender. We have some browns. Tan. Oh, now there's lavender. This is a little bit darker. There's a pretty lavender. Pink, a lot of gray, a light gray. Ooh, look at that pretty blue. And a dark blue. Oh, a lot of this light tan. Where's that? Oh, that must go up in the background up here. Oh, look at that pretty bright pink. That's pretty. Real light lavender. Kind of a peachy color, a mauve, and a pretty light blue. Oh, those are pretty colors. I likey. They're so cute. I love penguins anyhow. And then when I seen these two with the heart in the background, I thought, ah, <laughs> Would be a cute little, uh, Diamond painting to frame and give for Valentine's Day to somebody. All right, so that was number one. So we're going to put uh, penguins with heart. Is that what we should say? Penguins. How about penguins in love? <laughs> More appropriate. Maybe I'll write on there that this is a 30 by 30. Because I'm going to want to start working on some 30 by 30s. Okay. What's next? What's next? Eeny, meeny, miny, miny. We will grab this one. Like the colors, what'd you pick out, Lisa? What'd you pick out? I don't save those cellophane sleeves because I just put them back in the white envelope anyhow. So 
it looks to be a 30 by 40. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh. So, again, we have our standard tray. This one does, our standard toolkit. This one does come with some um, little baggies. Oh, look at these gorgeous colors. Oh, my goodness. Okay, all right. Let's look at let's look at the picture first. Oh gosh, and I'm zoomed way up. Sorry, guys. Uh, look at that gorgeous butterfly with I don't know if this is supposed to be like a a moon in the background. I just love it. Of course, you know, not only the picture but the colors. Yeah, let's zoom out a little more. You can see the whole picture at once so this is a 30 by 40 we do have the color key up at the upper left and the lower right again it is a little bit smaller i think sometimes depend it depends on the size of the canvas too um but yeah this one's smaller but you can still see it easily let's look at the pretty colors if i can find the opening There it is. Crinkle, crinkle. Sorry for those of you who don't like that sound. Uh, okay. So, let's start with uh, number one. That's a good place to start, right? Let's turn it over so we can see it easier. Oh, beautiful deep maroon. Or deep like a purple. It's a super dark, dark purple. Oh, is that pretty? Like a deep grape color. So many shades of purple. This is just making me happy. <laughs> oh my gosh. And then all the black for the backgrounds. Background. Can't have more than one back now. Oh my goodness. Oh my favorite. It's gotta be. Oh, it doesn't have the DMC codes on here. Nope. It doesn't, not on this kit. But yeah. <clears throat> yeah. Oh, look at. Oh, and then we're going to get into the pretty pinks. Oh, look at that one. Super dark pink. Oh my gosh, this is going to be gorgeous. There's another real deep, deep purple. Very similar to the first color. Oh, more on the purpley side though. This has more of the tinge of a brownish tone, undertone to it. But another pretty purple. And then finally our white. So this is a full round. Oh my gosh, be still my beating heart. <laughs> oh, gorgeous, gorgeous. All right. I can do this. I really can. Um, I was so excited about the drills. We didn't even look at the canvas. <laughs> Who needs to see the canvas? But it does look really nice and clear. Oh yeah, even the fours in the background you can see really easily. It's not too common, especially it seems on these poured blue canvases, to really have a problem seeing the symbols. You know, most all of them um, are pretty darn clear. It's, it's pretty rare to run across a diamond painting canvas um, where the symbols are. I mean, I've had some here and there where they were kind of eh, but not very often. Not very often. Oh my gosh. Gorgeous. Oh, I love it. 
It leaves me breathless. <laughs> that is a pretty one. If you like pinks and purples, mm-hmm. Alrighty, so what are we going to call this? Pink Purple Butterfly. Okay. 30 by 40. Maybe I'll put a star on this one so I know that it's one I'm going to want to do in the, you know, before some of the others. Purple, pink, butterfly. I'll just put 30 by 40. And we'll just put a star on it. <clears throat> Okay, on to number three. It's kind of like Christmas opening these when, you know, you've had these sitting here for a while and you totally forget which ones you've picked out. It's like, oh yeah. Okay, what's this one? Oh yeah. <laughs> oh, looky. Oh, and look at these pretty colors. Oh, another standard toolkit. We have uh, toolkits coming out of our ears. Look at this. Ah. So we have our two. Now, what was the title of this one? I can't remember. So I'm not sure what to call it. I may have to wait and see what it's called on on the website it is a 30 by 40 we do have the key code in the upper left and lower right again let's take a look at the canvas i don't foresee there being a problem look at how just so perfect and shiny that is of course, there's, you know, where, where it was folded, but that uh, flattens out perfectly. So, I mean, just, there's such a difference between poured glue canvases and the double-sided sticky tape canvases. I have a lot of those canvases, too. Um, and I typically haven't had a big problem with them. But, yeah, this is pretty clear, even with the, there's a lot of dark purple in here. And those are all M's, and you can see that pretty easily. Sorry for all the glare, especially on that white. <laughs> yeah, that's bright, isn't it? Looks like that moon is really a glowing. <laughs> okay, let's put this back. Because I think it's the little girl that's, you know, and the witch. Let's get this on here better. So I don't know if I should just put girl meets witch or something like that. I think that's I think that's what it is. But look at the pretty colors in there. I just love these like teals. So let's take a look. Oh, I can see the pretty colors already. So it's always not just the picture that pulls us in, right? It's the colors of the picture, at least for me. Sometimes more so than the picture itself, it's the colors in the picture. <laughs> so we have some gray. Beautiful deep green. Pretty purple. <laughs> just a little. Oh, that's pretty. Real warm gray. Oh, look at that pretty blue. Some more blues. Oh, lots of blues. Holy cow. Lots of blues. This is a lot of the background because I'm assuming yep, that's the same color. Some browns. Oh, look at that pretty color. Oh, look at these. Now, this isn't showing up quite 
the same as what it is here in person. That's more on the real deep aqua color. And this is like an aqua color too. Oh, look at all the browns. Oh my gosh. So that, I thought the background was going to be black. It's real dark brown. Huh, interesting. And then we have these, a mauve gray. Look at this beautiful teal. Oh, <laughs> and this. Those two together would be just beautiful. And then our white. For that glowing moon. <laughs> oh, so pretty. Okay, one moment. I have to plug in my iPad because it's going dead. There we go. Okay. At least it's not my phone iPad I can just quick plug in because that's what I watch over here to see if I'm on camera or not and uh, there we go and I can just you know quickly plug that in whereas if it's my phone I got a problem <laughs> then I'd have to stop recording <laughs> And I still have so much recording to get done. As usual, I am pre-recording a bunch of videos. So I'm not sure what day of the week this video will be going up. But it, it is Saturday when I'm recording this. So it is Halloween. Hence the fingernails. <laughs> I haven't put on nail wraps in so long, I almost forgot how. Hmm. Okay. You've got this, Lisa. You've got this. Okay, so another 30 by 40. And yeah, I think I'll just call it Girl Meets Wit. You know, a person should just write down the names from the website, right? They probably would make a lot more sense. This is a tighter package. There we go. Girl meets which 30 by 40. All right. On to number four. Just buzzing along. This is so exciting. So some of them come in that extra you know, plastic external sleeve, and some of them don't. Like I said, it doesn't matter to me, because I don't put them back in there anyhow. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I have seen, and I'm sure you have too, a number of these canvases where you have the little kitty, like, looking in the puddle of water, and then it's a tiger staring back at them. Well, this was one where he was looking in the window, um, and the reflection back is showing a tiger. So I thought that was cute. A little bit of a variation on the other more common one that you've seen. So, again, key code in the upper left and lower right. We get the standard toolkit again. Let's, this one's, if we really want to look at the canvas, I'm going to roll it back around this way just so we can see it a little bit better. All right. Oh, that is so cute. 
So let us look at the canvas. So there's some color blocking in here, which I love. I don't know about you, but I hate doing confetti. Oh, probably because I always miss a bunch and then I got to go back and fill them in. But again, very, very clear canvas. Very nice. No issues again with the glue. Oh, so cute. Now, what should we call this? Kitten meets tiger. <laughs> I don't know. It's a tiger wannabe. <laughs> hmm. Or kitten reflecting tiger. I don't know. I'll have to think about while we look at the drill. Maybe I'll say it that way. Kitten reflecting tiger. Then I'll, I'll pretty much know what it is. Okay. Let's look at the colors. Pretty carnation pink. Where does that go? Oh, it must be down in down in here. Must be part of the floor. And some pretty cool grays. Oh, look at the peach. I love that color. Whole bunch of more grays. Because the kitty and the tiger are gray and white. <laughs> there's a warm gray. Brown. Oh, there's another pale, pale pink. Some more browns. Oh, navy blue. Kind of a tan. Here's a deep plum color. Mauve, I should say. And a gray blue, a blue gray. <laughs> oh, there's that real pale mint green. That's pretty. Oh, that one's jam packed. A lot of dark gray in that one. <laughs> there's another kind of dusty rose and a lighter shade of that. And then one more. Kind of a medium brown. Aren't those pretty? I would have thought there would have been a teal in here. You know, when you look down in here. But that must be like that dusty, that uh, bluish gray. Yeah. Some of all these dark grays. Oh, very, very pretty. They have some of the prettiest canvases. And they're all so nice. As you can tell. Very nice quality. A lot of static electricity in this house right now. <laughs> Uh, you touch a light switch and you get shocked. So everything's kind of sticking to these baggies. All right, we have one canvas to go. If you're still with me. <laughs> okay, what did I say I was going to call this? Kitten reflects tiger. What did I say? Oh, it sounded so good when I said it too. Kitten reflecting tiger, right? That's what I said. Sounds good. Thank you for answering. I heard you. Kitten reflect. Tiger. And I believe this was a 30 by 40, right? I didn't even look. 
think I popped the bubble. Okay, let's get on to the last one. Aw, fun time's almost over. <laughs> nah, there's four more in there, but I don't want this video to get too long, so we'll hold off on those till the next video. So hopefully next weekend I'll get around to, oh yeah, unbag unbagging the last four. Now there's standard tool kit. Oh, and these drills are already kitted up for you in the little zippy zipper lock bags. Oh, how awesome is that? So, you know, some of their kits are, you know, kitted up one way and some of them are packaged another way. Interesting. Look at this cutie pie. <laughs> it's another kitten. You sense a theme here. Kittens and butterflies. <laughs> Look at these blue eyes. Isn't that gorgeous? Ah, oh, so pretty. Look at all them blues. Let's look at the canvas. This is another 30 by 40. And this one only has the uh, key code in the upper right. But with a diamond painting this size, you know, when they have an, an upper left, upper left and lower right, because they are so small, you know, you don't absolutely have to have that. I wish I have some very large ones that only has it in the upper right. And yeah, it definitely needed something on the bottom. But with this smaller one, you really don't. Okay. Oh, and again, the poured glue is just perfect. I don't know if you can see that or not. But yeah, just perfect. And these symbols are extremely clear as usual. Look at all those A's. <laughs> A lot of color blocking in here too, which is fantastic. Oh, this kitten is so cute. Staring up at them butterflies. I want them, that kitty says. Let's look at the period. Look at, at some of these pretty tones and stuff in here. And it's already kitted up for you. So I don't know if they have like different sub companies under them because, yeah, there's a lot of different ways these have been kitted up. Oh, pretty. I see some pretty colors. So we have brown, and let's zoom in a little. We have this brown, and these are the nice baggies too. These are the heavy duty ones. Really deep blue. Maybe I'll flip them over so you can see them easier. Pretty purple, kind of a dusty purple. Oh, look at that pretty pink. Must be the pink on the kitty's nose. <laughs> we got like an army green, kind of a grayish green. Let's just turn these over. Some grays, cool gray and a warm gray. Look at the teal. Oh. <laughs> Oh, pretty. Another dusty purple. And this is a real dark, like a mauve color. If I can get it on camera. Oh my gosh. Tons of this beautiful blue. It's almost like a mint green, but it's more blue. Oh, that is gorgeous. That must be what all goes up in this sky. Oh, that's pretty. Oh, that's a pretty color too. Oh, look at this beautiful blue. That must go in the background also. More grays. Because the kitten is gray. Gray and some white. 
Then we have our greens for the grass. Oh, look at that pretty spring green. Nice and bright. Another gray. Real pale gray. And finally, another pretty blue. Lots of those. That's got to be more blues in the background. Oh, some more pretty colors. Yeah, now I got to fit these back in <laughs> the bag. Uh huh. So that is our fifth one. Oh gosh, and I loved every single one of them. All right, let's get this put away. And like I said, I will leave links down below in the description that will give you a link to all the diamond paintings I have been showing you from New Homey. So what are we going to call this one? Uh, just kitty and blue butterflies. Kitten and blue butterflies. Sounds good to me. And it was another 30 by 40 kitten and blue. And these are have all been full rounds, so. And another 30 by 40. All right, there you have it. So we have our kitten and the blue butterflies. We have that one where the girl meets the witch. Oh, let's zoom back out, Lisa. We had the purple and pink butterfly that I just drooled over. That kitten reflecting the tiger and the penguins in love. That's another one I absolutely loved. <laughs> All right. So thank you so much for joining me for watching this video. I hope you liked the unbagging of these five diamond paintings again from Home Fun. And if you did, please hit that thumbs up button and subscribe if you're new to my channel. I hope no, not home fun. I knew that didn't sound right. It's from New Homey. I am so sorry. <laughs> I hope everybody's having a fantastic day. And as always, happy coloring and happy diamond painting. Bye, guys.